Hey, how you doing? I'm here with Brad Mishlove, CEO and founder of Catapult Groups. He's a senior advisor advising businesses that are doing more than $5 million a year in revenue. And Brad, I'm just uh, happy to have you here. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. Thanks. Uh, like you, working, working from home. That's right. We're, we're getting through this though, right? We're going to get through this. Uh, I, I, I think so. And I hope so. So um... <laughs> let's jump right in, Brad. Um, listen, you have clients on both sides of the spectrum in this crisis. And let's start with uh, talking about some of the companies that you're working with right now that are actually doing okay in the midst of the crisis. What kinds of things are you advising them to do during this time? Well, uh, to a certain extent, uh, some of them are just fortunate to be in, in the right industries at, at the right time. Um, but primarily, uh, the, the investment uh, was laid uh, time, time ago for some growth uh, by putting in uh, very solid foundations, both uh, operationally, uh, sales and marketing-wise, uh, and, uh, and financially. And so uh, they're, they're, well, you know, on the downside of things, there's issues, but on, on, on rapid growth, uh, we also see uh, issues and you got to have capacity and uh, you got to have uh, the ability to uh, staff up, ramp up. And if you're internet based uh, today, you got, you can't run out of internet. So uh, I think there's quite a, quite a bit of things that, uh, that need to happen. Uh, even, uh, even your experience and, and, you know, uh, I guess be, be fortunate that you're on the growth side of things. Right, right. You, you, Brett, you've got clients also on the other side of this equation, companies that have had to been, whether by order or by industry, been shut down, forced to sideline their business practices to this day. Um, there's issues with cash flow, layoff, things of that nature. Talk to us a little bit about what you're advising those companies uh, to do. Um, yeah, so it's, it, it is a difficult situation for many. And, and I think, uh, Daryl, that some of the, uh, the tools uh, and, and uh, and best uh, be applied. Uh, start looking at first how do we how do we best take care of people, right? And and then we have to look at how long do we think this uh, uh, this is going to last. Um, so cash is important. Um, your plan to restart uh, is important. Uh, managing through many of uh, the government uh, programs that are now uh, becoming uh, available and uh, maximizing uh, your your cash positions. Uh, uh, through those, negotiating with uh, vendors and uh, uh, landlords, banks, et cetera. All those things are important uh, in, in going forward. But most importantly is ensuring that uh, there's a future cash flow of the business. Because uh, right. temporary, uh, temporary uh, breaks in, in uh, revenue are, are, are things that companies can sustain through. Uh, they can borrow against, et cetera. If, if there's a go-forward business, uh, when we're allowed out of the bunker. Right, right. Brad, you've been advising, you've been running this company since the last recession, 2008 recession, mm -hmm. and you've helped clients and companies navigate through the 2008 recession. Tell me, in your opinion, do you believe this situation uh, that we're currently in will lead us into a recession? And if so, well, and if so, yeah. It will. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, Daryl, first of all, I'm not an economist. Uh, the economists uh, say that we're, we're there. Um, but many of, uh, many of them are saying uh, sharp, uh, sharp down and then uh, a pretty quick backup recovery. Right. Um, but most of the businesses that I work with, this uh, five to roughly $100 million range, they're, uh, they're more micro uh, affected than uh, macro. So uh, they need to look at what's going on in their environment and what they can do. And I've likened uh, for many um, that what we, we want to find things that we can do um, versus all the things that we can't, because there's many we can't uh, today. There's many things we're not, we cannot do. But you know, finding uh, the current and catching the current is much, uh, uh, I think, a better path right now. Finding, finding uh, areas that uh, have least resistance, as opposed to trying to to paddle uh, your your kayak up upstream, find the current and uh, whatever that current might be that's applicable to your business and and run with it. So I think there's some some opportunities, but good sound uh, practices, managing uh, the balance sheet appropriately, finding ways to generate revenue, finding creative ways to generate revenue, I think are are critical uh, paths. Uh, to uh, both survivability and then ultimately to thriving again. Right, right. You know, in, in your uh, time now in history, last 12 or so years, 13 years advising companies, 
Talk a little bit about companies and characteristics of companies, and I think you've already alluded to a few characteristics of companies that succeed in spite of economic circumstances. And agree, you know, again, whether it's recession or with those kind of things, but what are those core uh, well, characteristics? A number of things. Uh, first, uh, sound financial practices, good financial management. I think that's, uh, uh, that's required. Excellent uh, and timely reporting. So understanding the numbers, having uh, dashboards so things are readily available for uh, both uh, the senior leadership and, and the rest of their executive teams uh, to be able to examine. Having good uh, key performance indicators throughout the business, I think are also critical. And then understanding the levers. And what I mean by that are what actions drive revenue? What are those, those inputs that drive throughputs? And I think we need to know what those are so you can push those, those appropriate buttons, if you will, uh, to generate revenue. And then I think it is the role of uh, the CEO, the person running the company, to find whatever that next river of cash is for their, their company. And so I think they have to be uh, creative, they have to be innovative, uh, they have to understand the market. There, there are needs out there, and uh, I think there's opportunities to fill those needs, Daryl. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. Brad, someone watching this right now doesn't have someone like you in their corner. They don't know what to do right now. They are thinking through this day by day like we all are. Um, what type of advice or counsel could you add as we wrap this up? What would you say to that person who doesn't have someone like you in their corner? Well, a number of things. Um, one is uh, get some peers. Uh, find uh, other people that run companies and have conversations with them. There's a lot of uh, collective colla uh, feedback in, in collaboration. Uh, I think you'll find people have uh, gone through uh, probably whatever issue or opportunity you're facing and have some some counsel. Obviously, uh, if you're the, the CEO, it's your decisions, but uh, seek counsel. Uh, you should talk to your professionals, your lawyer, your CPA. And uh, if you should have the opportunity, I think a good business advisor, senior advisor on your team is, is absolutely worthwhile having. Awesome. Brad, it's been a pleasure for, uh, thank you for hanging out with us. It's been a pleasure. Listen, where can someone find you uh, if they would like to speak with you about uh, how you can be that advisor for them during this uh, tough you know, time. Probably the easiest uh, way would be uh, to, to uh, go on uh, our website at uh, Catapult Groups. Uh, it's the plural, G-R-O-U-P-S, catapultgroups.com. And uh, there's a simple form uh, to fill out on there and uh, we will get in touch with you right away uh, for sure. Awesome. Brad, thank you so much for your leadership, your dedication to the business community and uh, continued uh, growth in the businesses that you are serving. Uh, thanks, uh, and thanks uh, for the chat today. Sure appreciate it. Thanks, Brad. We'll talk to you again soon.